So far, random variables have been classified as either discrete random variables or continuous random variables. It turns out there is a third type of random variable that is known as a mixed discrete continuous random variable. It is part discrete and part continuous. And here are three examples. The first example is daily rainfall measured in inches. Now since this is a measurement in inches of rainfall, you would think that that would be a continuous random variable. But there is a problem. And the problem is that on some days it doesn't rain at all, which means the probability of getting a particular value, namely x equals 0 if x is the daily rainfall, that probability is greater than 0, which is the discrete portion of the distribution. Here's a second example. The delay time in a queue at an ice cream shop. Well, when you hear the word time, you think of a continuous random variable, but some lucky customers walk into that ice cream shop and there's no one in line, which means that their delay time, which could be considered x, is equal to zero, and that might happen with a particular probability that's greater than zero, hence it's mixed. There is a discrete portion at zero, and then continuous um, delay times for those that do have to wait. The third example is the lifetime of a light bulb. Now when you hear lifetime, you again think of time, and that is going to be a, a continuous random variable. But some light bulbs you purchase, you bring them home, screw them into the socket, and they don't work at all, which means they have a lifetime of zero. And that is the discrete portion of the distribution. On the next page, I put in a couple examples of what that discrete spike might look like. And I use 0.37 in all of these examples. It kind of works for the first two. and the third one, it doesn't work so well, but we'll use it for all of them. Let's say the probability x equals 0 in the first example says 37% of the days there is no rain at this particular location. In the second case, this 0.37, the discrete spike, would correspond to 37% of the customers that walk into the ice cream shop that do not have to wait in line. And the rest of them do have to wait in line, so that's the continuous portion of the distribution. And in the third example, this 0.37 might correspond to uh, the probability that new bulbs fail immediately. And if that's the case, I would certainly want to choose another brand. So this is the discrete portion. That means there will be a continuous portion. And that is everything to the right of that discrete spike at x equals 0. And the area underneath that curve, instead of being 1, which we're used to is 0.63, so that the 0.37 and the 0.63 add to 1. In the rainfall case, that 0.63 would correspond to the rainfall on those 63% of the days when it does rain. In the queuing example, that would correspond to the wait time for those 63% of the customers that do have to wait for service. And in the case of the light bulb, it corresponds to the lifetime for the 63% of the bulbs that do not fail immediately. The geometry behind a discrete continuous mixed random variable is your discrete portion is drawn as it usually is as a spike. And in this case, the spike has height 0.37. And then the continuous distribution may follow any number of shapes, but I just drew this shape in here. And the area underneath that continuous portion is 0.63. These distributions are not as common as strictly discrete and strictly continuous uh, random variables, but they do show up from time to time in applications.